Hey, hey, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today I have another tutorial on how you could fix the Hyperscape, the procedure entry point error on uh, the game or Vulkan Dashuan, the DLL error. So if you're just new in this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification to get updated with the latest tips and tricks on this channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So in order to fix this particular error on the hyperscape where basically you cannot launch the game, and first open up this link on the description. The first solution is to update the graphics drivers manually. So um, go to your start menu and search for device manager. Open up the device manager control panel app, expand your um, display adapters, and you'll be able to see here the name of your current graphics card on your computer. So I have a AMD Radeon Vega 8 graphics. So I'm going to click here the AMD graphics card. So if you have a Nvidia graphics card, click on this link. And if you have the Intel graphics card, click on this link. So I'm going to click on the AMD graphics card. And I have mentioned that you will be installing the update manually because um, there's a feature here to auto detect and install the Radeon graphics. However, having it installed manually would be preferable to make sure that you are installing it properly. If that didn't work, so go ahead and download this Vulkan dash one the DLL and put it on your system. Go ahead and download this um, DLL file and then um, just minimize this. Go ahead first and open up a new file explorer and then go to the um, C drive or where your Windows is installed. Navigate through the Windows folder. Type in here on the address bar backward slash system32 and you'll be taken to this particular page and open up the archive extract the Vulkan DLL file right here and then click on this little arrow icon right here and then type in here again sys well 64 hit the enter button and copy that Vulkan DLL file again and replace it in the destination now go ahead and close this window and just see if that would fix your problem. If that wouldn't still fix your problem, we could set the hyperscape as high performance. So go ahead and go to your start menu and look for graphics settings. Open up the graphics settings system settings app. Click on the browse button right here. And then we're going to navigate through the installation file or folder of our game. Under the Ubisoft um, Game Launcher, it's uh, typically installed under the Games folder and open up the Hyperscape. You'll be able to see here the Hyperscape.exe file, add that one to the list and click on the options. Set that one to High Performance and hit the Save button. Close this window and see if that will fix your problem. Another solution that we can do is to update the device or the driver using the Device Manager app. So go ahead again on the Start menu and search for Device Manager. So I have opened up this particular app already, so I'm just going to restore it. So again, expand the display adapters and right click on your display adapter and click on the update driver. And click on the search automatically for updated driver software. It's going to search online for the drivers of your particular graphics card on your computer. And uh, this is basically just a fail safe if the manual installation didn't provide you the latest update of your graphics card. So once done, just go ahead and restart your computer and see if that would fix your problem. And lastly, if everything fails, go ahead and head back again to the device manager. Open up the device manager. And um, if you have more than one display adapter right here, if you have unused display adapter, just simply right click on that particular adapter and be sure to uninstall first that particular device since it might interfere with the game, which uh, it might force the game to run on that particular old adapter or a video card, which uh, might be causing this particular error as uh, mentioned by some of the users. So be sure if you have two or more um, display adapters listed on this um, particular list, be sure to uh, uninstall those um, drivers that you are no longer using. And then go ahead and restart your computer and see if that would fix your problem. So that's basically it. Thanks for sharing. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave your comments and feedbacks down below and like this video. And also subscribe for more helpful tips. Till then, see you again in my next video.